what is up planet it is the priest and i'm back with another pick a card reading in this reading we're going to be looking at things that you might not see that could be holding you back so this is going to be communicating with your higher self for a future pair of eyes as to where you're going where you're headed and what could be holding you back from that so we will be taking a look at what's holding you back but what is it exactly holding you back from so there's going to be some more insight on yeah this is holding you back but just giving you the courage and the encouragement to release whatever it is that you need to release so that you can move forward so i'm going to be pretty much channeling messages from your higher self as far as what your higher self has to say about what could be holding you back and what you don't see if you guys are looking for any information as far as booking a reading or any of the inline education that you can find online or secret pick a card readings you can find all that information in my description box and also my website thetarotpriest.com last but not least don't forget to follow me on instagram the tarot priest all right so we have four different decks to choose from again this is going to be centered around what can i not see and what could be holding me back and preventing me from the blessings that are coming in my life so you have four different decks to choose from we have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, let's jump into the reading. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your message from your higher self and what you are not seeing and also what is holding you back. Okay, let's see what your question is. Where can I create more space? Okay, instead of filling yourself up with busy work and things to do, create more sacred space in your schedule in your home for some of you i'm hearing to create an altar okay or have an altar or a specific designated place where it's just peace sometimes it's easier if it's just you that's in there it could be a closet okay so where can you create more space and what does spending time with yourself truly mean okay that's something that's coming up as well I am ready for a breakthrough. So we have Ace of Swords. So I'm sensing that many of you don't see the breakthrough to success. Okay, sometimes we don't see the pathway. We're just like, how are we gonna, how am I gonna get there? Like, how is this gonna happen for me? So I'm seeing that you're not seeing exactly the path to the breakthrough. And sometimes we don't see it until we go through it. Eight of Cups, I accept my situation without resistance. So your higher self is also saying not to resist hold it by holding on to certain situations that no longer serve you so the eight of cups is movement away walking away releasing something letting go of something okay so there's something that your higher self wants you to let go of and in return you would be creating more space for yourself okay now whatever this is i'm also getting a clue that it could have created a lot of exhaustion or it could be creating a lot of exhaustion. You, you have the card, the nine of wands, which represents the wounded warrior. Okay. So this is, I am strong for as long as I need to be strong. So what you're not seeing is that your strength comes from the universe, God, whichever you choose. And this is where your strength is coming from. So being able to connect a little bit more deeper with your intuition is going to allow you to see the breakthroughs. Okay, see the pathway, see that whatever is causing you strain will be released very soon. Two of wands, I focus on what I want and make it happen. So spirit also wants you to focus only on what you want. Okay, so sometimes some of you may not be seeing that your energy, because this is all energy here with the orange and the red. Okay, it's, it's focused on being strong, holding on. But spirit also wants you to make a decision by choosing you. That's something I'm hearing as well with the two of wands here. Okay, we also have, what are the, the dominant emotions that run your life? Okay, what you're not seeing is that you burn with desire and there's power in your desires. Let them fuel you today. Your desires are your soul's wings and it's time to take flight. Today, go inward and your answers are going to be within. Choose what makes you happy and do that. So some of you are focusing on what you don't want to happen. And some of you are also focusing on holding on to certain situations. Now, let's just see what this is holding you back from and we're going to get into this a little bit more 
It's holding you back from family, flowers, and speaker. Okay? So it's holding you back from honing into all of your skills. All right, let's now jump into the reading and get some more information. Spirit, what is it that deck one is not seeing? Thank you. There's an opportunity that you're not seeing. Okay, it's a creative opportunity here with the page of wands. It's going to have to take a different perspective. So with the hangman, this is someone who's upside down. It's like sometimes things are shaken up in our life so that we can see a different perspective. So if you're finding that that's the case, I definitely feel like the fruits of your labor are coming in very, very soon. Okay, but you, Spirit is saying, creating space for that. And some of you, I'm, I'm seeing that you deserve more credit than you're giving yourself. That's something that you're not seeing as well, is giving yourself credit. Giving yourself flowers. Treating yourself. Okay. Last card for what is holding them back, deck one, that they can't see. Death. Okay, we have Scorpio energy. So an ending... Okay, something that has ended. This is holding you back from a loving family, loving friends, and your life purpose. Okay, whatever this death is, more information on this death. Thank you. The sun. So I'm hearing that the sun will shine again for those of you who did go through an ending or death or some type of tragedy here or a loss with the death card. I also sense that what you're seeing, not seeing is that this is a new beginning. Okay. So this something had to end for your, for the sun to shine again. Okay. We have the Knight of cups here. So something that you're not seeing too is love that's coming in. You're not, you're completely oblivious to this. We have a Knight of cups. Someone has come in. They're looking directly towards you. Okay, with this offering in this cup at hand. So if you're focusing on things that have ended or resisting ending, you're only prolonging the process to true happiness and true love. Okay, so you're getting ready to take a journey. Some of you may have gotten insight on this. Some of you may have not with the page of wands here. You're getting ready to take an adventure. Okay, you're getting ready to get curious about something, but it's going to take you having to change your perspective. Okay, so you don't see love coming in. Another thing that you're not seeing is where you're directing your focus. Direct your focus on what's thriving so it can cre create more of what you want. So if your focus is just on what you don't want, and sometimes we subconsciously do this. We don't realize that we do do this. But if we're focusing on like, oh, I don't want to do that, but I don't want to do this. I don't want to. It's also shifting your energy so that you can create more of what you want. That's a remember, we're vibrational beings. Okay. My greatest spiritual gifts don't come through force. They come through freedom. This is something that you're not seeing as well as that you are not making this happen. You are co-creating. All you're doing is focusing on your desires and being in alignment with that, which is all connected to your dreams, your soul, the universe. Okay. So spirit wants you to make a decision by choosing you. And you are the only person who had this card. And it came out and it says the royal you. So what you're not seeing is the royal side of yourself. Okay. This destination or journey that you've been taking is, is a blessing. Okay. You will look back on many things that have happened and understand why they took place the way that they did and be very grateful that it didn't go a different way. Okay. But I'm seeing that there's a curiosity that's coming through um, and the sun is shining here. So there's a lot of happiness and joy ahead of you. And I also see that your life purpose is like you really have to believe in yourself to be able to receive these messages about your greatness. Okay. So I'm definitely seeing making more space to compliment yourself. Okay. Making more space to be proud of yourself, not being so hard on yourself here. And just following what feels good, not, not overcomplicating things. Okay, one more card on what they're not seeing that is holding them back. Thank you. The Wheel of Fortune. So it's a cycle. It's a new cycle that's beginning and it is a new start. So whatever has ended with the death card, let's get one more card for what has ended. Okay, more information on this. 
okay it could be a work situation could even be friendships relationships five of cups usually means like it's it's an emotional something that really brought bothered you okay um i'm definitely seeing even financially what you're not seeing is that your spirit is guiding you towards even more finances without having to work so hard that's another thing with the eight of pentacles so the wheel is in your f favor here and what you're not seeing is that it's karma is on your side, but you have to be true to yourself and true to your desires. All right, last but not least, what aren't they seeing that's holding them back? Deck one. Suffering in silence and awareness. Okay, so spirit wants you to be more aware. We don't really have many major arcanas here okay we have a few but not much when it comes to the awareness in your intuition so this is all to get you back to a space of being able to have clarity okay instead of filling yourself up with busy work in your home your mind in your lungs and in your heart take time to just be do a clutter detox on your schedule your home and your innermost self make space I knew it clarity you are getting ready to see clarity and it's leading you to the desires of what you want which is loving friendships a loving family a loving life purpose blessings uh, credibility acknowledgement for your work okay some of you are literally getting flowers you know so there's a lot of blessings that are coming through your life purpose so what you're not seeing is this this ending this pathway whatever you you're experiencing or going through it's for you to have awareness okay so you can see very clearly with clarity what your next step is so if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading and what is holding you back or what you don't see but i do feel like spirit wants you to connect more so that you can see so this is a lot of opening up your third eye you're like in the beginning of this spiritual journey but it's like a it's a new level okay it's a new level that i'm seeing that you're facing but the wheel is in your favor okay so fortune is in your favor all right if you guys chose deck number one don't forget to comment down below like the video i am moving on to deck number two all right if you guys chose deck number two this is your message from higher self on what could be holding you back and what you don't see currently okay what you don't see is that you've achieved so much in your life and you have so much to celebrate Okay, what you can see now and will be able to see is how far you've come. So I'm definitely feeling like you're not seeing just how far you've come. Some people don't make it as far as you've come and you've come a long way. So celebrating every single thing that you have to achieve, being grateful for what you have. You may not be exactly where you want to be, but I'm definitely seeing that you have so much to celebrate that maybe you're not seeing. Look at this, we have the queen of pentacles. I have everything I need to prosper, okay? So what you're not seeing is how blessed you are, how favored you are, how you have everything you need to prosper. Sometimes we don't realize it until spirits like, work with what you have, work with what you have. And you're like, but I need, more, but I need this, but I need, work with what you have. And then you realize, wow, I actually had everything I needed to prosper. I already had everything. So you already have the tools you need to prosper. Okay, you already have the knowledge, you already have the expertise to bring more abundance into your life, to bring more finances in your life. Okay, the queen of pentacles is nothing to play with. The queen of pentacles, I like to compare to as someone who has multiple streams of income. Okay, she's so independent financially that she doesn't even need a man. I mean, you could be a man or a woman, it doesn't matter, but she has so much masculine energy when it comes to just prosperity. It's like, how does she make it? We don't know. It's just the universe is always providing somehow. So you might be overlooking some of these blessings that you've been receiving, like, you know, meeting the right people at the right time, getting blessed or having extra money come to you. I definitely feel like you could be overlooking the favor that's on your life. Okay. We also have Empress. I create what I choose naturally and with joy. So you're a creator. So I don't know if you see that with yourself yet. But I mean, this is very powerful energy. This is someone who can create finances for themselves. This is someone who's self-sufficient, who has all the tools and the expertise they need. Okay, you don't need to read another book. You don't need to go get another degree. You don't need to have seven majors. 
okay? You have everything you need to prosper. And most of it I'm feeling is coming from your wisdom. Seven of Wands, you don't have to compete for what is yours. What Spirit is saying, you don't have to compete for what is yours. It's yours, okay? You don't have to fight for it. It is yours. What belongs to you, belongs to you. Now what's holding you back, okay? Not being able to see this, exactly. Okay, maybe this sounds so good to be true, but this isn't your current circumstance. We have the five of pentacles. This is usually poverty, worry, lack, fear of lack. Okay, so fear of lack is holding you back from taking the risk you need to be self-sufficient, to be a CEO, to have your own, to take that new job, to take a different position, whatever resonates with you. Let's see what it is holding you back from. I pulled two cards for that, that question in particular. Talk to your angels an artist okay so you're not seeing your artistic abilities and the value that you could bring to people so instead of worrying ask for divine guidance it just keeps reminding me of this story of the lady who had who was like i'm you know i'm poor i don't have anything and spirit was like you have so much in your home like that you can literally sell you have so much abundance you just you're not seeing it you're just focused on the money the paper but what is even money it's just representation of value so it's like you have so much value to offer and if you want to exchange that for money you can you can exchange it for whatever but i also see that you have artistic activities that can benefit your career in every other area in your life so being more creative and explorative, explorative, I guess you can say, about your artistic abilities, okay? Engaging more of the creative side of you. So the Empress, she is a creator. She literally births, you know, she's pregnant here, but she is a creator. She creates life, literal life, okay? So you are also a creator, okay? What could be holding you back? Are you apologizing for your truth? What part of you is apologizing for your truth? Be, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you apologize or withhold parts of yourself. Okay, be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives within us all. So are you apologizing for your truth? And are you focused on what you want most? Even focusing on what we don't want is such a strong desire that we will still manifest. It just will be what we don't want. But you have the ability to focus on what you do want. And as you focus on that, things will start to change. Very, very subtle changes that I think that you're overlooking, okay? You might be overlooking this. One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life never deciding to master anything in particular. That's a quote from Tony Robbins. So what you focus on grows, and that's true. <laughs> Today, ask yourself, is your life a reflection of your values or do you need to make adjustments? So spirit wants you to prioritize what you want the most. Not based on what you believe you can have or what's the easiest to obtain. Just focus on what you want the most. And how you will attract that is through your abilities to receive by being measured by how much you practice good feeling thoughts okay good feeling thoughts such as what i believe i'm worthy of feeling good and it's crazy because some people subconsciously they'll just say of course i believe i'm worthy why wouldn't i because if someone were to give you something for no reason would you give it back or would you feel worthy of the blessing Okay, or, or would you feel worthy of feeling your 100% best? Would you feel worthy of love and joy? Okay, and it's being honest truly with feeling worthy. I mean, to even drive a six-figure car, you must feel worthy. It's a whole nother frequency. It's a whole nother vibration. You like it's a whole nother vibration to believe I deserve this. And especially without having to work so hard, without having to compete for it, just trusting and knowing that that's yours because it feels good. 
okay? These are definitely higher challenges when it comes to being like a vibrational being, okay? What feels good is what's most important. So it says, I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy, okay? So even to receive the perfect partner, you must feel worthy, okay? You must feel worthy of that position. You must feel worthy of prosperity. You must feel worthy, okay? All right, let's see. What are they not seeing? Deck two. What are they not seeing that's holding them back? Thank you. The star. Wow. Okay, so we have Virgo energy. The future is what I would answer that with. What you're not seeing is like the future. Spirit also wants you to know that you can create your next future reality by just having hope on the positive. So what you're not seeing is the star the light ahead okay so some of you are definitely taking a transition here with the the six of swords movement away from something let's see what that is six of swords why is it here yeah five of swords okay so it's definitely something that brought you some sort of infliction okay sometimes the five of swords can even be self-inflicted things that we got ourselves into but what you're not seeing is the star card, which is hope. I love the star card. So this is also Aquarius energy. So this is all about your hope, your aspirations, the light ahead. Okay, not focusing on what has happened. What else are they not seeing? The chariot, we have cancer energy. Things are moving forward. Okay, we also have the nine of swords and the six of cups. Let's get clarity on this nine. We have so many swords here, so much confliction mentally, okay? Let's see why the Nine of Swords is here. The Tower. So, yeah, there's a lot of conflict here. Okay, we have Scorpio energy, Cancer energy, Aquarius energy. There's a lot of conflict here. I also am sensing that you are not seeing kind of like where this is headed, you know? And I feel like spirit wants you to assist with this new reality that you're creating by just focus on focusing on where you want it to go instead of being up or being uh, maybe mentally exhausted by figuring out or trying to figure out how this is gonna happen because this isn't gonna be for you to figure out all you're to do from what your higher self is saying is to focus on what you want the most and don't apologize for it either and don't explain it and don't justify it you want what you want and that's what it is okay and it's not about i don't want this because i don't know how to get it but just truly being honest about what it is that you want because this is what's going to help you move forward okay now i want to clarify why the six of cups is here for what they can't see why is the Six of Cups here? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Six of Wands. Ace of Cups. Okay. I feel like there's something coming towards you that you're not seeing as well. Okay. This is something good. Um, but as far as holding you back, you must feel worthy of receiving it. Okay. It's also rewards and recognition and achievements. Okay, it's something that's coming in um, and I feel like you are attracting this because of what you've been accomplishing. Okay, and even if you don't feel like you've done anything to accomplish anything, I'm definitely sensing with the Six of Wands here and the Ace of Cups that there is some type of offer coming in that's going to bring you some opportunity that's going to bring you success. Okay, uh, and I also feel like it's based on your decision. Okay, it's all based on what you want here with the two of pentacles juggling. Okay, and I'm just sensing to really go after your dreams. Okay, not letting your your fears holding you back, not letting um, like your your certain circumstances that you're in now. You know, it doesn't matter what your circumstance is today, even at this moment, because it can always change. It can always change. So don't be stuck on what the numbers say. Okay, for some of you, I'm just, this might be for a few of you guys, but even like with the bank, like what your numbers say in the bank account, that's not true to your value. That's just one aspect of value in your life. Okay, so don't let the numbers weigh in on your value. 
and not just your value, but how much you're worth. Okay. So I'm definitely seeing that what you're not seeing is some artistic abilities and activities that you have, and also the value that you have to offer. Okay. And not apologizing for this, but focusing on what you want so that this can happen. All right. Anything else that they're not seeing that could be holding them back? Thank you. Conflict and defeat, which is the five, lots of fives. Okay. Um, five that we had the wands as well crown chakra yeah seeing it from a higher perspective okay see it from a higher perspective you have to with the crown chakra this is the highest perspective this is seeing it through the eyes of the universe so really just connecting and working on just having hope in that connection with your intuition is something that that spirit really wants you to focus on so I'm hoping this brought you some clarity. Deck number two, uh, don't forget to like the video, comment down below if you guys are looking for some words of feedback or even encouragement from others, definitely go ahead and do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna be moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your message from higher self as far as what you may not be seeing that could be holding you back. What else could this mean? And where can I ask for more help in my life? So I definitely feel like many of you guys could be like a server or kind of the one who's always giving or maybe too strong to ask for help or maybe trying to figure it out for yourself. But I'm definitely sensing that when you do ask for more help just in, within yourself internally, right? When you're just open, opening up your heart chakra to like, okay, I am open to support. I am open to this. I'm open to that. I would like this. I would like that. Just opening up a space in your heart is what's going to bring in more support for you. Okay. What else could this mean? So whatever it is that you're going through, there's a higher perspective. So it says there's always multiple ways to look at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears. Okay. So you have some fears that are holding you back. Okay. Let's see what those fears are before we move forward. Get some insight on what you don't see as far as your fears and limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Okay. We have heartache and loss. So some of you could definitely be going through a letting go. Um, I also feel like you have fears and have limited yourself around how much expertise you actually do have and how much wisdom you do have to offer. So you are overlooking that within yourself. So it says, look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Is there a pattern that's trying to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, is life happening for me right now? So just understanding everything is happening for your good. Okay, everything is happening for your good. And even when we deal with heartache and loss, we understand that loss is a part of life. Okay, it's a part of balance for new life to, to be brought in. But I'm seeing that there's definitely positive movement forward here and hope at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's just see what else are you overlooking? Hierophant, we have Taurus energy here. I am ready to love and learn. So you are ready. I'm definitely seeing you're becoming like a leader, a teacher, stepping up. Uh, you're ready. That's actually what you're not seeing. <laughs> you're ready. Um, don't talk yourself out of why you're not. Like you're you're ready when you say and feel that you are okay and you are ready to love and you're ready to learn and you're ready to nurture yourself and you're you're ready to take time for yourself you're ready to believe and more for yourself you're ready to be inspired and optimistic about the future and hopeful with the star card here okay so this is very very hopeful energy that i'm seeing here okay you're learning how to be open okay not so open that you have no filters and you're just receiving everything, but open with filters. And filters are just, mm, I prefer not to experience this. Okay, this isn't, this isn't feeling good. So I'm just preferring not to experience this in this moment. Okay, so yeah, you're definitely, your higher self wants you to see things another way. Okay, see it from a different perspective. There, there's always a higher perspective. Spirit also wants you to change your beliefs around money 
Okay, let's see more of that. Because the Nine of Pentacles is here and this would be a good financial situation for you. Like believing in that and knowing that that's coming true for you. A good financial situation. Yeah, we have the Emperor, Aries energy. We have the King of Pentacles. You are being elevated. You are being promoted into a different position of carrying finances. I don't know if you see this coming, but I see that this is what you've been preparing for. The thing that spirit wants you to know is that you're worthy of this success and worthy of this for some of you, for some of you, okay? For some of you, I just heard fame, okay? Some of you are stars and I can feel that in my gut. It's going, it's on fire right now. Yeah, king of wands. Some of you are meant to be stars. I don't think that you see this for yourself. I also want you to know that you're very wise, okay? You do have a lot to offer and I do think that you could be overlooking that by thinking that you have to be like the best expert in the world of something before actually doing it and you don't because there's gonna be various ways, okay? If someone is going to a barbecue and everyone's bringing chips, you just gotta bring a different flavor, okay? So that's what I'm seeing even with whatever you're getting yourself into creatively, you will do the same thing, but what's so different about you is your perspective. You've been through things many people haven't. You have certain beliefs about certain things that people would enjoy listening to. So this period in your life, let's get some current energy on what, where, they're, where they're at, what they're going through, deck three. Thank you. Yeah, it's a 10 of wands. It's coming down to an ending, okay? It's coming down to an end. A cycle is coming to a close. A doubt, you know, one doubt, fears and limiting beliefs will literally create an entire reality for you. That's nothing that you desire. And, and you'll think, why am I here? And it'll be because of your fears and your limiting beliefs that kept you here. So where you are currently is what you've been able to manifest for yourself. But where spirit is taking you, it's going to take some hope and some faith in yourself and believing in yourself. Because the Ten of Wands, this is exhaustion. This is, look at this, this guy's carrying all this weight. Who knows how long he's been walking, just carrying this weight. So I'm sensing just releasing, okay? All right, let's look at what else they cannot be seen. The Empress, look at this. Ying and yang. Okay, so what you might not be seeing uh, that's holding you back is just your own individual happiness outside of relationships. Okay, so that's very important. That's actually how most of your relationships are going to thrive when you are feeling your best, when you're inspired, when you're living your dreams, you know, things are coming into fruition. That's when your relationship is going to flourish. Because I see you do have a life partner here with Emperor and Empress energy. You're learning to balance both your masculine and feminine energy. Creating, but also not being afraid to attack. Okay, Emperor energy is just like you go after it. Period. <laughs> like you just go after it. The Empress, like the Emperor will go after it and bring it home and the Empress will nurture it. Okay, that's the difference between the masculine and the feminine energy. Okay, so what you don't see is that this is a rebirth that's occurring in your life right now. And it's really to get you to see yourself for, for how great you are, how much of a star you are, your presence and your energy. Yay, Ten of Pentacles. Whew. Yes, you guys are getting ready to have a huge financial breakthrough. Huge financial breakthrough. Wow, this feels really, really good. So some of you guys could have been waiting for this for some time. I definitely feel like spirit wants you to learn how to keep some stuff for yourself. Keep a little bit left over for yourself. Don't give everything away all the time. Okay, keep some for you. You're worth keeping it too. Hold on to it for you. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles, this is amazing. Okay, amazing energy that you're that's coming in for you. What else is coming in that they don't see? Six of Pentacles, an equal give and take with your finances, balance in your finances, okay? A cycle is closing. 
Now, what is this holding you back from your limiting beliefs, your fears about taking this leap into yourself, leap into the future? Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So your feelings and dreams, your feelings are going to be a compass. Okay. And you can always tell when you don't like a job, you can feel it in your gut. You're just like, oh my gosh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And if you feel that, it's probably not the job for you, okay? Sometimes we just hold on to things because of what? Fear of not having it, fear of lack. If I let go of this, how will it come in? And that's where we have to learn how to trust because sometimes we can really be simple-minded by thinking that we have to do so many things for money to come, and you don't, okay? You're on the right path. So you are on the right path. That may, may be something that you're overlooking too. So keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Okay, you could be a writer. Okay, so what this is holding you back from is writing. What this hold is holding you back from is studying. So it could be a job or something that's occupying your time or something that has been occupying your time. I definitely know your fears, like not feeling like you know enough to do it. Okay, just questioning your wisdom and questioning your expertise. Your perspective is very unique. It's completely different from mine and everyone else's. And so the people that you will help will be centered towards your perspective. So study, research more, do what you feel you want to do, but just know that you're ready now. But if it makes you feel even more confident to read, research, and educate yourself, to gain confidence and clarity about your career, then you should do that. And I also see you should heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words that you write. So you could be a writer or a speaker. Now, what else you don't see is that you release time and let the universe show you what it can do and what to do. So don't worry about, is this going to happen in the right time? How long is this going to take? Just release time because that sometimes put pressure, puts pressure. You know what due dates do? They just like unnecessary pressure. You know, every time I say reading coming tomorrow, it's like all of this pressure and then something happens. Like the editing doesn't go right, the wrong video is uploaded and it's because of all of the people's resistance. We don't realize that there's desire, but there's like an obsession with our desire to the point where it's coming from a fear or coming from such a need and it's like actually pushing things away. So that's something too, is like what you persist, you resist. We actually resist it by, you know, cause our energy is saying that we don't trust that it's coming. Cause if we're taking it into our own hands, it's because we don't believe that the universe is doing their, its job. Okay. So that's something too, is releasing the time. And then also you can do less and attract more. I love it. You don't have to work so hard. You don't have to do so much to attract more for your life. Okay, so you are birthing out a project right now. It could be a new project that I'm sensing. Okay, so there could definitely be something that's changed. Last but not least, what else aren't they seeing? Yeah, you're strengthening your spiritual union. You are also attracting a spiritual union. Okay, you're being asked to speak up, speak your truth. You can definitely be a speaker. And I'm also seeing that... Yeah, you're just in a position of leadership. So whatever these fears are that you have about yourself, you are going to be successful at what you do as long as your vibration is in alignment with that. Okay, because I'm seeing that there's success here. But you must also just speak up and not be afraid to speak up. Okay, not be afraid to be a leader. Okay, so yeah, victory. Look at this. Come on. Victory and success, triumph and success. Okay, so what are you waiting for, deck three? So what you can't see is the victory that's ahead just by just being yourself, okay? Just by having the hope and the feeling good and being true to who you are, having the wisdom, okay? Now you asked for help, you clicked on this video and I do believe that that was you asking for more help. So congratulations, that's how it starts, just being open to like, okay, what is it that I could not be seeing? I mean, who doesn't want extra pair of eyes, right? To know. And so I definitely see that your knowingness has opened this door. And so now I'm hoping that I was able to give you the clarity and guidance 
that you were seeking for maybe what you haven't been seeing in your life. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what you may be overlooking or, or what you may be not seeing that could be holding you back. Don't forget to comment down below, like the video. In the meantime, I'm moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what your higher self feels that you may not be seeing that could be holding you back. The fool. So it's more so of the fear of what you're not seeing. Okay, so some of you feel like you want to know every single thing before you take the leap of faith. And the fool is all about embracing the unknown. So you see that he's walking through or getting ready to walk through the unknown with his eyes closed because it is going through the unknown and it says i am guided and protected on my life journey so your higher self wants you to know that you are protected we actually just did a spiritual protection webinar so if you guys are looking to stream that you can find that down below we talked all about this protection and being able to take the leap of faith which is the fool like the fool is the leap of faith card okay now we also have libra energy which is justice so are you speaking your truth are you speaking up for yourself? Are you letting people know how you feel? You know, are you being vocal about that, being true to yourself? Okay, we also have Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and we also have the Tower. Okay, let's see what your question is. How can I deepen my trust right now? Yeah. So you're looking to deepen your trust. So what you're not seeing is what you're not seeing. Ex exactly that. And sometimes that could be very fearful because you're being guided by an entity that you cannot see. You know, the universe, God, it's just a feeling, you know, this intuition, a very subtle feeling that you can follow. And as you follow it little by little, you will start to deepen your trust. So spirit wants, basically wants you to see what you're not seeing is the relationship that you can have with your spirit guides, okay? Whatever you call it, your angels, whatever resonates with you. How you become connected more so that you can trust it, them during this new path in your life is by exercising your intuition, by listening to it. You know, if you're getting ready to walk out the door and it says, they say, grab your UPS mailbox key. And you're like, really? I haven't checked that in forever. And it's like something's telling you that's a perfect way to exercise your intuition. And then you'll do what? You'll grab the keys. And then next thing you know, you'll get a call and you have a package and you're like, oh, wow, the good thing I trusted my intuition and brought the keys. You know, sometimes we look at things right before we leave the door and we're like, do we need that? Why did I see that? Our intuition is always speaking to us. So this is how you can deepen your trust. So spirit wants you to see this as like a best friend connection. Um, and it takes time to develop trust. Okay, it can take time. When I surrender my will to the care of, of this spirit in the universe, I attune my energy with an ever present stream of well being. So you are you will feel protected when you are connected. So you know, right then and there that you're not connected if you feel unsafe, you feel fear. Okay, if you're feeling fear, or you're afraid to surrender because you don't know how to go forward. Okay, if you're fearful of seeing the truth in some of these endings or fearful of speaking up, this is kind of a sense that you are not in tune with your heart and soul, your spirit. Because if you were, you would feel protected. You would know how to go forward. So that's what spirit is saying. There's a bit of a disconnect. It's kind of like when the wires aren't working and you look and it's like a little circuit of the wire is cut. It's like a little disconnect. Okay, let's see where that's at. Yeah, it's trust. It's being betrayed by people. It's your relationships that have created patterns of how you have relationships. And it's so important that we're grounded just with the base chakra of our relationships, the root chakra, because this is how you're going to also establish your relationships in general. And remember, you and spirit, you and intuition, that's a relationship. So if you have a hard time trusting people, Okay, you know, that's also the same thing with your intuition. So what is it right now that's the disconnect? Thank you. What's the disconnect that they're not seeing? What aren't they seeing? Thank you. 
Yeah. There's something coming in for you, Page of Cups, that you may not be seeing, okay? It's an offer, but it's coming after you make a decision. Now let's get two decisions here. One side of the Two of Wands, what's that decision? The other side of the Two of Wands, yeah. You can wait or you can go, <laughs> is what they're saying, okay? You can wait for the results, the decisions, or you can make the decision yourself. You can make it happen yourself. And how can you make it happen yourself? How can they do that? You can heal the habit of fear and embrace the habit of love. Okay, I love that. So when you embrace the habit of love and you heal the habit of fear, like, well, why do you fear? Because this happened, because this happened, because this happened. It's usually not wanting to repeat things in the past that have happened. So I definitely feel like Spirit is saying, there are some patterns or a little bit of loops or triggers that are keeping you in, in this state of fear. Fear that you might it might not be replaced, whatever you lose, you know, that's something too. When was the last time that you danced freely? Okay, so this is about just not taking life seriously just relaxing and getting back to why you're here okay i think that some of you may have gotten caught into the cycles of life and away from the habit of love so love is also pleasure it's playing it's dancing it's singing okay does my life have more room for pleasure and play there you have it let's see what this could be holding you back from obviously more pleasure and play we have builder your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. So I don't know if you know this about yourself. Also crystals, your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for you to heal your energy. Time to decide, there's that two of wands. Make a decision based on your heart's true desires. I know I say this a lot, but the answer that you're seeking involves going to school. So I definitely see that some of you might be going back to do some research or studying right now of maybe something new okay let's get what else they're not seeing so i can tie this together deck four temperance i love this card okay so temperance is a re reconciliation with yourself whoa we have the judgment at the bottom so you are going through a spiritual awakening right now so that's what you might not be seeing so what's holding you back is your ability to see what you're here for like why you're here okay i know a lot of people always have deep deep reasonings but the truth is just joy in the experience if i were to simplify it to the most simplest way is is joy in ex existence experience just to experience so what is it that you want to experience more of okay something else that you might not be seeing is the opportunities that are coming forward Okay, some of you, it could be in love with the Page of Cups. Others of you, it's an opportunity financially. Okay, it's coming in slow, but it's your passion in, is coming in very fast. Like it's being ignited very quickly. Okay, we have the Page of Swords too. So there is some communication or something that's coming in here. And I do believe that your guides are trying to connect with you. Let's see why the judgment is here. Why is judgment here for deck four? Two of Cups. Yeah. So you, if you haven't already, are manifested or have manifested a life partner with the judgment, but you find them as you find yourself. Okay, so those of you who are, you're not, you may not be seeing that there is a life partner that's going to match your energy, okay? Something that you also are overlooking is your ability to create is part of what drives you, excuse me, drives you. Okay. What else are they not seeing? Okay, there's a decision and it's gonna take having to be truthful. What else is holding them back? Transformation, yeah, it's a transformation that you're going through. So this is definitely an ego death, okay? An ego death is just who you thought you were, you're letting go of, and there are many ego deaths. There's stages, for sure. Okay, so we have the 13, but it's time to decide. So this next decision in your life, what you may not be seeing, it's a very pivotal decision towards 
a direction that's going to allow your ideas to flourish. Okay, it's a direction that's going to allow more love to come into your life and more of a financial flow to come in, even if it's a slow flow, because I'm seeing that it's a slow flow coming in. But I'm, I'm feeling that let's get why the Knight of Wands is here. Something is coming in. What is that? Material and spiritual prosperity is coming in. So this is what your your fears have been holding you back from the fears of going and doing something you've never done. Okay, the fear of letting go and just playing and not caring so much about how things are going to happen. Okay, so there are things that definitely that you may not be seeing, seeing you could be overlooking and it's material and spiritual prosperity that's coming through. So the spiritual prosperity is the temperance. You could be a Sagittarius. You don't have to be. But we have huge spiritual cards. So you are definitely going through an ego, ego death. Now, sometimes we resist this. So if we're holding on to something it also can resist this from happening. So you're going through an ego death right now. I think that that's something that you don't see or maybe haven't put into perspective exactly what the hell is going on, but you're being called, okay? You're being called to more material and spiritual prosperity in your life. What else are they being called to? Yeah, foundations and achievements, okay? So yeah, you... Uh, yeah, there's the base chakra. I believe I was talking about that earlier, that foundation, that firm foundation with spirit. Okay. Build on that relationship. You're just now building, just now opening up and making more room for direction, clarity, and guidance in your life coming from spirit. Okay. So it's going to take you to have to surrender maybe something you built if it takes so much to keep it together. Okay. Because what you let go of, you will recoup six times fold six times more okay any other anything else that they're not seeing that could be holding them back emotional loss truth so you might not be seeing the truth in this situation what's the truth you can't be afraid of the truth and being honest with yourself because that's what's going to guide you in fact i have a quote that says that the closest to hearing the voice of god is the truth so when you want to know what that feels like to hear spirit talk to you, it's the truth and you can feel it in your gut. You can feel it. That feeling you might be overlooking. So I'm, I'm believing that the message that's mostly here for you is not to overlook that communication because it's guiding you right into where you want to be. But you must be willing to speak your truth. Okay. Something else that you may not be seeing that could be holding you back is that you're, you're not making enough room in your life for pleasure and play. And when we are having fun, right, when we are being when we are being pleased, when we are playing and we are carefree, everything is provided. Anything else that competes with that, it's like when you think of carefree, fun, no responsibilities, just existing. We think of children, we think of animals, they just, everything is just provided for them. They just exist. And that's actually our connection that we have to the universe. If we can just actually have a little bit more faith in believing that this can happen and letting go of things by thinking we have to control them and make them happen. That's what I feel like you're not seeing that you're holding, that's holding you back is this, this direct communication line. Like you can literally pick up the phone and call spirit like, Hey, What's good? What's going on? But you have to be open to hearing the truth because that's how spirit speaks through truth, through intuition. So let's get one last message for you guys. All right. Anything else? Spirit, last card. Ten of cups. I have all I wish for in my relationship. So you're going to have a beautiful, beautiful connection. Okay. In relationships, you're headed in the direction of fulfillment. Ten of cups is the ultimate fulfillment. Okay, nine of cups would be a wish come true, contentment, but 10 of cups is a 10 out of 10, okay? So this is really gonna make you happy. So I'm hoping that this brought you clarity and insight on what you can be overlooking or may not be seeing that could be holding you back. Uh, thank you so much for letting me guide you, deck number four. Don't forget to comment down below if you guys are looking for some support from others, definitely do so. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next pick a card reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you and be your spiritual guider on this journey. Love and light.